This is how to make a Bluetooth logo inside Adobe Illustrator. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer, and this is Dia Graphics. So the first thing we want to do is activate the grid. So go to View, then go to Show Grid, then go to View again, and Snap to Grid. Now with the Zoom tool, zoom in to the grid. Then pick the Line tool, and draw a cross like this. After drawing the cross, draw a line like this, straight through the cross. Now draw a line from this end right here and connect it to the line right here. Now draw a line from this edge and connect it to the middle line as well. And to join all these lines, go to the selection tool, select all the lines and click Ctrl or Command J. Now all the lines are connected instead of being individual lines. Then go to the direct selection tool, select this anchor point right here and drag it two small squares up and do the same thing to this anchor point right here. Then go to the selection tool, select the icon and make the stroke width 30 points. If you do not have the default measurements on the grid like I do, you might need to adjust the stroke weight to account for this. Now go to object, go to expand, make sure fill and stroke is on and click OK. Now the icon is a shape instead of strokes. Then go to the ellipse tool, scroll a little bit to the side then draw an ellipse that is 3 by 2 squares. Now go to the Direct Selection tool once again, select this anchor point right here, and with the arrow key notch it one time to the left, and notch the other side one step to the right. Then select the Pen tool, go to this anchor point right here, hold down the Alt key and drag the handles until they have two small squares left. Do the same thing in the other side. Now go to the selection tool and select this ellipse, scroll up a little bit. Now place the ellipse so the top of the ellipse aligns with this guideline right here, just above the Bluetooth icon. Now go to this corner right here, and while holding down the shift key to keep the proportions, scale the ellipse like this, so that the bottom of the ellipse aligns with this line right here, just below the Bluetooth icon. Now give the ellipse the correct blue. The RGB hex code is on the screen right now. Then right click the ellipse, go to Arrange and click Send to Back. Then grab the ellipse and move it to the center of the icon. Then grab the Bluetooth icon and make it a default white. I hope you are having an amazing day. If you want to watch more graphic design tutorials, you can check out one of my videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.